Hello, everybody. Chris Porter live here at the Jacksonville Sports Pub in downtown Jacksonville. It is game night here on our first coast. Game four of the ECHL playoffs between our Icemen and the Everblades. And I want to show you the Icemen gear. They are all decked out looking for the scarf. You've got the mustache. You've got the good jersey. Then come over here. This guy, check him out. And then back here, show, come up. She's got the uh, American flag on the shoulder. Then we've got the birthday girl with the rug rat thing on. Happy birthday to you. And then over here, they've got the headgear. You swing on over this side, and this is what I want you to see. The bling bling. They are all blinged out. Now, we've heard a lot of players saying that Jacksonville has become the place for folks in this league to really want to come and play. Nice facilities. Uh, they love also their living situations, et cetera. And Jason Christie was the first coach in the franchise's history and the winningest in the ECHL. And currently, the Buffalo Sabres assistant had a hand in this franchise, becoming one of the best in the ECHL. Well, he's back in Jacksonville. I caught up with him to get his thoughts on the organization's success. Oh, it's been great. You know, Nick's done a heck of a job there with them. And, uh, you know, it's uh, we've always had a, a you know good foundation here with the ownership and stuff. Andy's been unbelievable. Bob's been great. So, you know, to see them having success is awesome. And, uh, you know, glad that I could be a little part of it for sure. Game, the Icemen find themselves in a major hole down 0-3 to the Florida Everblades. Nick Luco, the head coach and company, know that this season is on the line. And how ironic is it they've lost every game the same way. Pin themselves in a hole early and then they weren't able to come back. If this team is going to get back in this series, they've got to do what in your opinion? Well, they just got to come out right away and set the tone and, and play hard, you know, like uh, like they have been all year. There's no sense changing, just, you know, be a little bit more assertive and they're going to be great. Tonight in prime time, the NFL is going to release the schedule for all 32 of his team. The Jacksonville Jaguar fans, I'm sure you'll be like me and the folks in the sports department looking down that schedule, seeing which games we're going to win and lose. Here's what Doug Peterson had to say about the schedule. I mean, I'd love to see if there's a Monday night or a Sunday night or a Thursday night game, obviously, to see the primetime schedule, you know, and then obviously you try to check to see how many road games in a row you might have or, you know, if you got a home, you know, we don't have many home games, obviously, with seven, but um, mainly the road the road schedule to see if there's any sort of back-to-back, -back, you know, road trips that you have to plan for, but, you know, you always look for those primetime games, and, and uh, it's really a time where you can showcase your team on national, uh, national TV.